Well, my name is Denny Wisely. I was the uh, commanding officer of Flight Leader of the Blue Angels in 1980 and 81. I came into the Navy as an aviation cadet in February of 61 and retired as a Rear Admiral in October of 94. This jet behind me was my jet uh, when I was uh, leading the team. And, and the reason it was my jet is because Jim Ross was a solo pilot the year before in, a, in the, my first year as a Blue and he overstressed airplanes every time he flew them. So he said, let's give Jungle's airplane to the boss because he doesn't play G's. And that airplane, that airplane was a hot rod. I mean, it had a big engine in it and we had 3,000 pounds of gas and we were about one to one thrust to weight at takeoff. And it could turn, it could stay within inside the field boundary. We just ran out of wing life. And um, I was working for John Lehman uh, in the Pentagon. And, he wanted to go to uh, T-45s, and we said, hey, Mr. Secretary, the Air Force is getting F-16s, so you really want to do that? So along came the F-18, and that's, that's a long time ago. One of the designers of this airplane was R.G. Bob Smith, my good friend before he died, the famous artist. And by the way, I'll show you uh, uh, my MIG kill painting that he did over here. It's hanging in the museum. But anyway, he was one of the designers on this plane and the, and the F-4D Sky Ray. And then he did. He got so good at artwork. They said, "Oh, you're over here painting pictures now, Bob." But this airplane was designed during the Cold War in the 50s to go basically one direction, do a loft maneuver, drop the nuclear bomb. It would it would go up and come down, and the A4 would turn, go do a half Cuban eight and get as far away from the, the nuclear explosion as he could. Yeah, that's what it was designed for. Right. And in Vietnam, uh, it, was a, it was a workhorse of Vietnam, the A4C, but it was really kind of underpowered. And, and it wasn't until the last days of the A4 when they put the P408 engine in it that it had all the thrust that it really needed. It was the only airplane I remember, um, fighter airplane I remember, you really felt like you were strapping it on. The cockpit small and tight. Uh, Bob Stevens on our team was like 6'4 or so. And he had to have a special seat pan so he, his canopy wouldn't hit his helmet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Was, but it was, it, for an air show business, it was dynamite. You know, they, they had um, slats, maneuvering slats. When you got slow, these, uh, these slats rolled down and gave you more lift. But it, in, in this kind of environment, if they came down unevenly, it, it would be a, a real mess. So we bolted the slats up, all that foam in the front of the wing. That's, that's a, a, a maneuvering slat. So those are bolted up on this airplane. It was stripped clean, um, polished, of course. And as I said earlier, 3,000 pounds of gas, uh, one to one thrust to weight. What a great machine. I would have loved to have had that in Vietnam, that, that engine and loaded down with sideliners and a gun. Mm -hmm. It would have been dynamite. 